Walk on in. Yep. Okay. Yeah. 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 Hi, my name is Jesse, and this is my story. When I was younger, um, softball really was honestly kind of like an idol in my life. Going to a Division One school was the height of everything. I ended up getting recruited by a Division One school. That was that was the big stage. That was everything that I dreamed of when I was a kid. And that was something that I had achieved. Signed the papers and went over there. It wasn't everything that I had thought it was going to be. It was so different because you have this vision of what you think it's going to be like in your head and then when it's not that, it feels like your world's falling apart. There were a lot of rough things that happened. There was a lot of um, physical and emotional abuse from my peers and from people who were close to me. Um, I, oh, man, sorry. <laughs> hmm, okay, I got this. No one really knew what I was going through because I didn't tell anybody about it. I kept a lot of things to myself. It made me feel more alone, but at the same time, I felt like I didn't want to burden others with what I was going through. And um, I ended up attempting suicide my freshman year. That was the lowest part of my life for sure. Not really knowing who I was or where my life was going to go. I just knew that I was in a really hard spot. I remember sitting on my windowsill and just crying and calling my dad and basically telling him I, I have nothing. I don't know what I'm going to do. I had just decommitted to this school. I wasn't enrolled in school. I didn't have softball. I didn't have anything. And I remember hanging up with my dad and crying and praying to God and saying, Jesus, listen, like, I don't have anything to give you. I don't have softball. I don't have school. I can't do anything for you, but I know that I want to follow you. I know that I want you in my life, and I know that I want to live my life for you. And I remember my dad calling me back and saying, we're emailing all of these schools, we're gonna do this, we're gonna try to get you on track. And Coach Farler emailed me back within probably about three to five minutes. <laughs> when I got the email from Jessie saying that she was looking to transfer, it was a no-brainer, like, absolutely, let's talk. I'd like to meet you in person and tell you about our program. I immediately liked how she played ball, her energy, um, her athleticism. I mean, she, she could play anywhere on the field. and the kid could swing it. It was amazing. She asked when she could get me on campus and I shipped all of my stuff home and I came back. I remember praying and asking God, if you give me a sign, like I promise that I'll follow you. My dad and I went on um, an obstacle course run a few years back. We got sweatshirts from it. It was called the Warrior Dash. The only thing that I had was this old sweatshirt. I was like, well, this is what I'm gonna wear for my visit, I guess. And I came to Corbin and I met with Greg Eide and Coach Farler and we're going through the visit and everything's going great. Greg Eide looks at me and he goes, hey, that's a really cool sweatshirt. I'm like, can I see it? I said, yeah. And on it, it said, are you a warrior? And he said, you know we're the warriors, right? And I thought, oh my gosh. This is it. This is my sign. I'm coming to Corbin University. I got it. I'm like, God, all there. We're ready. Like, good to go. And uh, I went on the rest of my visits that day, but none of them compared to Corbin. Corbin is just an amazing place, and I knew it was exactly where God wanted me to be. And it just clicked right away. It was so obvious that this was a really solid fit on both sides, that this is where she was meant to be, and um, this is what where her home was. And so I ended up meeting the team and signing the papers, and when I talked to them, they asked me what I wanted, and I said that I wanted a family here. And Corbin Softball has definitely given me that family. She's extremely humble in everything that she does, especially in softball, like All-American, she's pretty dang good at softball, but you never hear her like gloating about what she has done. She's always saying, well, I couldn't have got four RBIs if I didn't have four runners on base to start with. So she's always giving credit to her teammates before herself. Jessie is pretty much the definition of love. My favorite part about being on the Corbin softball team has definitely been the relationships that I've made with these girls. Being able to 
share not only softball with them, but have that relationship with Christ so that we can grow together and talk to each other, not just about what we're going through on the field, but off the field is something that I've never had before. We do it all for the Lord all the time, and that is greater than any ESPN trip or any gear that you can get because Jesus is obviously better than all of that. Oh man, Jesus is so good. Go Warriors! <laughs> <laughs>